Hey peeps, good morning. Uh, Anonymous and I are headed back to the trail. Special thanks to our shuttle driver, Mr. Larry, uh, for dropping us off. Uh, we had to kind of get off at that little turnout. Uh, we got like a point one walk back to the trail just because there was nowhere for him to pull off on the side of the road. So got my toe wrapped up. Been using my ingrown toenail pain reliever, so hopefully it's going to do well today, but we'll see. And Anonymous, you want to give us an update on your back? How's your back feeling? Today's going to be an experiment, so it's so, uh, still hurting a little bit, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we're going to see how she does. I told her to keep her hip belt like packed real tight, just to kind of, it's almost, almost kind of like a brace, kind of. Your pack kind of helps with that, with the back issues, so yeah. hopefully she'll make it. We're doing kind of a short day today. We're going to stay at the uh, shelter. It's called something. something uh, we've now. been told it's a little bit off of the trail, but we've been told it's got a beautiful view of New York City, like you know, the skyline, you know, if it's a clear day and it looks like a super clear day. So biggest obstacle this week is going to be the heat. Um, we're looking at low to mid nineties for the next basically five days. Uh, it looks pretty good on the rain, but we may be wishing for some rain when it's like in the nineties, but, um, it's kind of breezy right now. So not too bad just today. It looks like, but yeah, it looks like the worst is going to be the next couple of days. So heat advisories are already being issued uh, for high heat indexes. So we're gonna do the best we can. We're gonna to try to really start um, our hikes early, early in the day if we can. So anyway, we'll see what's happening. We got Palisades Parkway coming up. There's a detour. We're not taking the detour. Um, we're just gonna cross it because we're just we're not doing two miles out of the way. I don't think anybody. I think for the most part, all the hikers are just still crossing in the same place. I mean, it's probably a dangerous road, but it's one-way traffic and then a median in the middle. So I think I think we can do it. Ultimately, if we get there and we can't get across, then we'll go back to the detour, I guess. So, but I plan to cross it one way or another with, without having to walk two or three extra miles. So, so anyway, we'll get with you guys at the trail and let you know how it's going. Some pretty nice trail today. It's in the shade, which is nice because it is so hot. It's gonna be a miserable few days, so shade hiking will be appreciated. As will early morning hiking and all the things to keep you cool. So it's gonna be definitely tough. Uh, water carries, everything's just gonna be tough when it's hot, but it's what it is. We're gonna be facing low to mid 90s for a few days, so we'll just have to deal with it. Uh, none of us is behind me, her back's not doing well so far, so I'm hoping. Maybe it'll get loosened up and she'll be doing better, but we'll just have to see. So, some nice kids just passed. Uh, it was like a little tramley called <laughs> Tram and Cheese Sandwich. Um, we actually saw them at our hotel this morning. Uh, so, it looks like they got back on trail, same place we did, but uh, very cool kids. Um, one of them, her name is Bug, and she actually had on the exact same belly that I wear, same color and everything. So, I actually went to my room and got mine and came back and took a photo with her. So, I'll insert that here. So, yeah, it was nice to meet her. She is my true first Millie twin I've met out here I think yeah the exact same hoodie so that was super cool so no matter how far ahead you, you are on the trail you're always going to meet some cool people that's for sure so definitely uh in the bubble area I would say at this point but you know, it's hard to say like I said the bubble kind of spreads out and it's not near as impactful as it is early in the hike so back down in Georgia and North Carolina etc so so yeah, we'll keep on going, closing in on the Palisades Parkway. Here at some point, like I said, we'll be crossing that. Um, there's a detour, the detour is not that old. The detour was only put in place a couple of weeks ago. And I mean, I know it seems like you should take a detour, but I mean, I don't think any of the hikers are doing it because it's like two or three miles out of the way and just, they're already dealing with enough water carry situation as it is. And I think there's water if you don't take the detour. So yeah, it's, Kind of a no-brainer. I think most people are just crossing. There's, I do think the logbook is in the median, so I'll try to show you guys the crossing when I do that. We may be kind of in a rush hour type part of day, but like I said, it's a one one way uh, with the median, like on both sides. So I don't think it'll be too bad, but just have to be careful. And worst case scenario, like I said, if we can't cross it, we'll just go back to the detour. So I'm sure we'll be able to get across. So just gonna have to be patient. Patience, truly a virtue on hiking the Appalachian Trail. Like it's, I would say more than a virtue, it's a necessity, absolutely. All 
Okay, there's my pack. And there's where I just came from. And there is the trail. I just got off trail. I had to bushwhack a little bit to get back on. So I'm gonna leave my pack there, slight pack back to make sure I don't miss any steps. So <laughs> pardon me while I hike about point two backwards. It was really strange over on the other side of this little mountain, I guess you say, cliff, whatever this is. Um, like I thought I was following blazes, but they were, I guess, blue blazes that were kind of light colored. So actually radioactive, I think, had warned me about this. And apparently I didn't listen well enough. So <laughs> I mean, very confusing, but a nice Asian lady got me back on track. So that was good. So anyway, a little backtracking for you. Okay, people, exciting news. I think I'm getting my first glimpse of the New York City skyline way in the distance. I'm going to try to zoom in and see if you can see it. Not sure how much you can tell from that. But yeah, I can definitely see it in, with my eyes. Very cool. A little bit hazy. I was hoping for a better view. Maybe we'll get a good view. Anonymous thinks we'll get a good view from the shelter tonight, so that's pretty cool. Okay, peeps, looks like here's the detour. Trail closed, detour in effect. Take a picture of this map or scan the QR code to download a digital map of the detour. Okay, peeps, I made it to the Palisades Parkway. That sign in the distance says New York City 34. Uh, this is supposed to be a tough road crossing. I don't think it's going to be too bad. It's late afternoon, but it's kind of before rush hour. Oh yeah, this should be pretty easy. In fact, I'm going for it right now. Here we go. Crossing the road safely to the other side. And here comes Anonymous behind me. Hopefully she will make it fine. I'm sure she will. Yeah, there's big brakes in traffic. This is not hard at all. She may have to wait a little bit patiently. She's doing a good job of being patient. Hands on the hips, that's a key. Thankfully she's not hitchhiking because she's not very good at that. So hopefully she can get across Frogger style. Well, here she comes. Hustle up, Anonymous. Hustle up, Anonymous. Hustle up, Anonymous. Whew. She just made it. Oh my gosh, it was a closer call for you than me. How was it? it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. You, are, you, you come a lot closer to getting nailed than I did, so. Yeah. Oh my gosh, good job, good job. So we still got, well, I guess we can sign the log book. I don't normally sign log books, Anonymous. Are you gonna sign the log book? Probably not. She says no, she is not, but just know that it's here if you need to. It is right here, the Median Appalachian Trail Register. Very cool. So, all right, I'm gonna try to get across the other side. I'm not sure which lanes of traffic are the busiest this time of day, but it looks like it may be this side. Let's we'll see. 
Oh yeah, this one might be a little bit tougher. You just gotta be patient. We are patiently waiting. There is good water on the other side. We're excited about that. I think we go off cross together. There's safety in numbers. Traffic is moving very fast. Yeah, I gotta admit, this is like yeah, this is legitimate. legitimate. So here we go. We're moving, moving quickly, as quickly as we can move. We're kind of old. <laughs> Sorry, middle aged. <laughs> All right, we made it. This bump, nice. Okay, people, another milestone. Fourteen hundred. Just seven hundred ninety-four point three to go. Okay guys, we finally found some good water down there. I know you can't see her, but Anonymous is back there getting some. And I just filled up with four liters. That's a, basically a gallon of water that I wasn't carrying a few minutes ago. So about eight more pounds on my pack. I got to carry it uphill about 0.7 to the shelter. Because um, there's no water up there. And then there's no water for five miles in the morning um, to the Bear Mountain recreation area they've got water there we can get from a spigot so yeah water is tough right now especially when it's hot so we're gonna try to get an early start in the morning and um like i said it's one of the things you got to do carry a whole bunch of water a lot of weight but gotta have water no matter what so i drink a lot so i'm taking a gallon i think anonymous is taking about three liters i believe so we'll see how it goes but yeah a little climbing to end the day and then hopefully a good camp spot with a nice nighttime view of the city of new york we're hoping so we shall see Okay guys, we are on the Blue Blaze, closing in on the shelter and hopefully a really good campsite. It's like a little scrambling to get up to it, but, or down to it, or wherever we're going. But we're almost there. Ooh, we're ready too, it's so hot. We've been, sorry, we've been spoiled by AC for a couple of days. So. Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, people, an amazing view from the shelter area. Okay, peeps, we made it to camp. Found a good little tent spot here for our tent, so we're getting set up, getting ready to eat dinner, and then go down and try to see some views. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If we have a good nighttime view of the skyline, I'll try to get some video and add that after this. So stay tuned for possible bonus coverage. Uh, once again, appreciate you watching. We had a good hike today. It's really, really hot, but we got here fine. And like I said, we got incredible views as you saw earlier. So anyway, appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe to see more videos, and I will get back with you in the next one.